So the topic we're going to discuss now is forecasting. We love forecasting. Just think of the weather, right? Every night people tune into the, the news channel just to see what the weather is supposed to be the next day. So forecasting, all it is is simply trying to predict the future. We're going to use quantitative methods because this is a quantitative class. So we're going to look at a couple of things. We're going to focus primarily on time series forecasting for our quantitative method. And what that means is we will have some time period index and then we will have the the response or the data that we are trying to predict or forecast. So this could be something like January, February, March and then the numbers you know we could have a thousand, eleven hundred 1250 dot 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 all right so ideally there we're gonna we're gonna focus primarily on evenly spaced um, so here it would be monthly we could also look at quarterly and we could look at daily things like that things that are taken at, at about the same time each time period so we're also the first thing we want to really do when we get one of these is to actually do a plot. So along the x-axis is going to be our time or time period index and along the y-axis is going to be our y, the thing we're trying to predict which is the same thing as our response. It could be sales, it could be uh, inches of rain, it could be anything. And so we're going to plot this stuff at evenly spaced intervals. Right. and then look at it and see if there's any patterns that we can discern. So really we're trying to do a visualization to discern some kind of pattern. Different patterns that we're interested in are going to be, uh, the first is a horizontal pattern. That would imply or indicate that we have a stationary process which is really nice for us it makes forecasting pretty simple or about the simplest that we can have uh, the other thing we're going to look for is a trend that's a persistent upward or downward through time uh, and we're going to focus on linear there are other types but we're going to focus on linear trend uh, then we're going to look at seasonality so if you're thinking skiing in Maine, then you have two seasons. You have ski season and you have no ski season. All right, so there would be two seasons if I was worried about that. If I'm talking uh, business cycles, it might be quarters. So quarterly for quarterly seasons, things along those lines. And then we're also going to look at trend plus seasonality. Now there is something else called cyclical, but we're going to kind of gloss over that for this course. Horizontal, we would like to be able to see, and this is our y, this is time, right, which is x. We would like to be able to see um, things that look somewhat stable or horizontal over time, right, so that we could draw a line that looks pretty much flat, right, so horizontal is equal to flat. So we're going to look at different methods for doing that. We're going to look at moving average, weighted moving average, uh, the naive, and simple exponential smoothing. Are the, are the four that we're going to look at for that. Uh, then, after we look at that, we're going to get into trend. And here, uh, we might have a something where there looks like there's some kind of upward trend. And so that would be an upward trend. People generally think that's a good thing, 
but maybe not always. So an upward trend is usually thought of as good. That depends on what you're measuring. If I'm measuring um, death rates or something, then I actually probably want a downward trend, not an upward trend. So for this, we're going to use regression, which you should remember from your Business 275 class. Right. So our Y is going to be the thing we're predicting, our X is going to be the time period index, so it's going to be simple linear regression, which we could do by hand, but I'm not going to make you do that. The next thing we're going to look at is seasonality. So here the pattern is going to be something like that, where we have peaks and valleys at regular intervals, but overall, the middle or the mean is still staying about horizontal. So this is seasonality with no trend. So for this, we're going to use multiple linear regression with dummy variables. So first, we'll check whether or not there is a trend. If there is no trend, then we'll use dummy variables. Uh, S minus 1, number of seasons minus 1, where 1, uh, so we'll have a dummy variable. Um, let's call it quarter one equals one if this data point is in quarter one zero otherwise right. and then we'd have quarter two and quarter three that would leave us with a base of quarter four which we'll talk about in class then finally we will have seasonality with a trend. So we have some tr upward trend and peaks and valleys happening at the same thing. So there we're just doing multiple linear regression again. This time we're going to include the time period index as well as the dummy variables for the seasonal indices. All of those right there uh, where well, we're looking at trend and seasonality and all that is assuming that we're doing additive models. We can talk more about that in class. So that gives you a basic idea of what we're trying to do with forecasting. We're trying to predict the future with quantitative methods, and we're looking primarily at time series. And we're looking at a, very, at a subset of possible um, time series models out there for us.